Huzzah, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess for the Nintendo GameCube. Minimalist run. Last time we did a side quest, and today we're tackling Hyrusel Castle, the final dungeon of Twilight Princess. Time to end this fantastic game once and for all. And prove to everybody that I can do a three hard run of Twilight Princess with no deaths. <laughs> Though, I don't think I should be too secure of that just yet because there are a lot of things to watch out for. In fact, I actually had to redo this video because Hyrule Castle had a lot more going for it than what I had initially planned. Basically, we have a case of the Hyrule Warriors going on here in the sense that, that we have sections like these that like to pop out of nowhere and you have to fight hordes upon hordes of enemies. Just like Hyrule Warriors! Dang, Nintendo! Freaking... 10 years of hindsight right there. Just about. And yes, for the record, I am getting Hyrule Warriors. So, don't you kiddies worry. That and the mini-boss! Um, the mini-boss of this dungeon is the same boss we fought back in, um... Gerudo Fortress, the same mini-boss there, whereas one hit pretty much instantaneously kills us. So yeah, they did not pull their punches when designing this final dungeon. Granted, it is short, which I guess does more than enough to make up for that fact, but holy crap, this can get overwhelming pretty fast. Especially given that you can't take a whole lot of damage in these sections. Another interesting thing that Hyrule Castle has going for it, apart from most other dungeons, is other than the fact that you don't have a dungeon item, um, it's a very do-it-your-own-way kind of dungeon in the sense that at least three or so times within the dungeon you can pick two separate paths, but you don't have to take all of them. But if you do, you do get rewarded pretty handsomely by the end of the dungeon, so... And that very reward is what I'm aiming to get. Granted, if I take the set paths correctly, but... Alas, I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. Let's just find out and see. So yeah, this dungeon is going to be hard. <laughs> In terms of combat, anyway. So, I need to be super careful. I mean, I would have kept the run where I died in, but I died at least like three or so times, and that's embarrassing to show. Like, I died twice to the mini boss, and then I died once to the freaking hordes of enemies that appear out of nowhere. Also, it sucks that the borders, like, hurt you whenever you touch them, so... <laughs> so yeah, expect lots of hack and slashing, I guess. Oh my word! No! I don't... Spin attack spam! Spin attack spam! Don't you dare die on me, Link. And of course, all of them come into that position. My word, just die already. This is actually really difficult. I'm not going to lie. Because you can get overwhelmed so quickly, it's not even funny. So yeah, I'm going to be on the deep end <laughs> in these next few episodes, folks. Now, Hyrule Castle may be short, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be taking it as fast as possible. If anything, I'm going to be taking it rather slowly. Especially with this upcoming mini-boss. Uh, this dungeon is just rough. 
around the edges, man, I swear. Ganon. <laughs> Holy flit. Ganondorf really thought ahead, didn't he? So hopefully there's some hearts here and there. Yeah, this might actually be the hardest part of the entire run, folks. I'm not even joking. This is actually legitimately tough. <laughs> Compared to all the mediocre quote-unquote challenges we've faced so far, so... You know, now that I think about, about it, this run needs more ball and chain. I want to see if that's actually a valid strategy now that I think about it. So yeah, um, our mini boss is this guy. We haven't seen him in a while, but hey, he's back, I guess. I have come to play and what the flint? Did he just speak? This fight? <laughs> if you get hit once, you're done for. And he actually has a few mind games and trick too in hand too, so yeah, you need to play a lot of bait and punishing here in order to get out of this fight alive, because this fight, the moment you mess up once, you're done. Just get in, land a few hits, then run. Run. Yeah, whenever he does that, Oh, yeah, he's killed me doing that before. Get away. Get the flit away from him. Because he's going to strike so fast that you're not going to be able to react to it. It sucks. <laughs> so watch out for the mind games. Bait out an opening by letting him strike. Throw in a few hits. Then run. It's a lot like the Iron Knuckle fight from Ocarina of Time. It's a game of bait and punish. I didn't think he'd actually do that. I never seen him do that before. Whoa! Watch out for the barriers, too. Those are way too close. Stay away, Ken. Because when he lies down like that, you can't get him in a state of where he can't react. In fact, if anything, when you're doing damage to him, he has that opportunity to quickly strike. He's a meanie. It's hard to keep him within your sights, too. Because of that stupid freaking barrier behind me. Run. Just die already! Thank you! Oh my word! <laughs> that took forever. Enough. Yeah, I could have taken the other path, but I thought it'd be more rewarding for you viewers if I did it this way. You guys, you can technically avoid the mini-boss altogether if you want. Because it's like I said earlier, you can take 
any path you want and still beat the dungeon. You don't have to take all of them, but you do get rewarded nicely if you do so. He spoke. Yeah, you're telling me. I didn't even pay him any mind when he did that. So yeah, I could potentially show off the other path, but because this is a minimalist run, not a 100% run, I don't feel any need to. I'm just going to show off the paths that I feel are either worth showing the most, or are um, the easiest for me to handle. Which that, this path wasn't. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, the other path is much more easier to handle than this one. Just because of the lesser extensive fights. Like, the left path here is a more combat-based path, while the other one is more of a puzzle-based path, and that just takes longer. So... And then we have more alternate paths coming up, so... I'm starting to wonder if I should have <laughs> entered this dungeon with a bottle of milk first. In fact... I think I really need to, folks, because this next upcoming portion is rough, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back, and I feel it'd be best appropriate if I just stayed silent during this next portion. Not only so I can concentrate, but also I think Hyrule Castle has the best dead dungeon music in the entire game. It is a remix of past iterations of Hyrule Castle from, like, earlier games in the series, but it's by far my favorite iteration of Hyrule Castle's theme in the entire series. So, <sighs> let's do this and enjoy the music. explore the innards of Hyrule Castle now, shall we? And once again, it makes great usage of the double claw shot, so... What the flood? Why couldn't we see this with the ball and chain, or the... The Dominion Rod, or... Heck, the spinner. <laughs> well, we get... To use the spinner somewhat towards the end of the dungeon, but that's besides the point. Alrighty. So, what is this? Okay, so I guess we missed the map back from one of the other rooms outside. So, we need to 
play a game of Tarzan and ride these things. Apparently. Hmm, I wonder what could be in here. Whoa! <laughs> okay then. Dark nut fight it is. Got many bosses all out the front door, it seems. Holy flip. I don't remember this being as easy as it was earlier. Seriously, I'm blazing through this faster than the mini boss fight back in the Temple of Time. this. You got the oil winter lantern. Okay, so... This is an interesting puzzle. for the last one. Yep. Mind games for the win. Huh? Wasn't there another one? No? Wait, hold on. Just break these first. See if we can find our answer. What? Where'd you come from? Absolutely nothing. What about this? What did that do? Oh, wait a second. There we go. Clever thinking, Twilight Princess. And, uh, it looks like the paths diverge off once again. So, uh, next time, my friends, I will pick a path, and we'll go from there. So, see you guys then.